Welcome to Revolution Rail. It's going to be another beautiful day in Cape May. It's awesome. Yeah, it's fantastic. Awesome. These rail bikes allow us to get to places that a lot of people would never have an opportunity to get to. Enjoy nature, get some exercise. We like to inspire people, we like to educate people, and we like to move people. It was a lot of fun. fun. Some people were a little bit slow. It was relaxing. So a rail bike is a two-seater or four-seater bicycle that rides on rails. We know people really like the rail bike here in Cape May. Everybody loves coming out. Everybody loves the railroad tracks. Everybody loves the fact that we're using tracks that otherwise would be neglected and that the area becomes alive again. This is something different. This is for folks who They've been to the beach, they've been to the restaurants, they want something their grandparents can do with their grandchildren and their children, and they can all get on the bike and have memories. Got one coming in. Revolution Rail was started in 2017 up in North Creek, New York. What we're doing today is we're part of a 36 person tour and we're going to go two miles out to the canal. We're going to go through the marsh, we're going to go along the Garrett Family Preserve, which is a true treasure of Cape May, over 180 acres. That meadow is just planted with fruit trees and berry bushes to attract migratory birds as they fly over Cape May. At the canal, we're going to turn the bikes around and we're gonna go back to the Garrett Family Preserve. This time, we're gonna get off the bikes and we're going to uh, talk about it, why it's such an important part of the ecosystem of Cape May. Then we'll get back on the bikes and we'll come back. These rail bikes allow us to get to places that a lot of people would never have an opportunity to get to. Because there is so much history here in Cape May, and there's a lot of really cool things that have happened here. These rail tracks that we're on now were laid down here in the mid-1800s, and initially they were tourist trains, they were also freight trains and they have been used for years. They have diminished in use, and the track that we're on is basically an, an orphan track. In 1940, the track that we just came in on, that was the old Reading line. I was dreading this when I heard four miles, but it actually went by so fast. There's minimal grade to it. The bikes are engineered to be very easy to pedal. And what's really nice, at this age, they can pedal. Grandma and Grandpa can take breaks. Anybody that likes nature and being outdoors or someone who's not familiar with the area, uh, it's definitely a cool thing to do if you need a break from the beach. We go from a marsh into these meadows and these fields. Everybody happy? It gets people moving. It gets them up, gets them out of their house, gets the kids excited. It's just like something fun to do that's like, you're out, you get to enjoy the outdoors without it being like too strenuous. Everything we expected and more. 